Hi, hello. Welcome back to our class. So today we'll be seeing about some interesting plants. So you know all the plants are green in color. Okay. And they prepare their food using a pigment which is called chlorophyll. That is the green color pigment. Now you have some plants that do not prepare their food by themselves. Why? Yes, it is because of the absence of chlorophyll. Okay. So such plants are called your non-green plants. Okay. They are called non-green plants or saprophyte. Is it clear? So now we will be seeing about them. So the first one is called non-green plants. Okay. So they do not have chlorophyll. What is the first one? No chlorophyll. So they do not prepare the food by themselves. Okay. So how do they prepare, get the food? They depend on other organism. And they live on other organism and absorb the nutrients from it. Okay. So what are the examples of this non-green plants? Have you heard about mushroom? Yes. Okay. So the examples are mushroom mold. M-O-U-L-D-S. Okay. And beech leek. Okay. All these are examples of your non-green plants. Two things to remember. No chlorophyll. They don't prepare their food. Depend on others. Okay. Example is your mushroom and mold. Okay. Now, have you heard about plants that eat insect? It sounds unusual, right? So, there are some plants which take insects. Okay. Which eat insects. Such plants are called your insectivorous plants. What are they called? Insectivorous plants. So these plants take or eat the insects. So in these plants, the leaves are modified to trap the insect. They'll have attractive color. So seeing these colors, the insects will be attracted to these plants. And when they sit, go and sit on this leaf, the leaf will have some system to push the insect inside. Thus, it gets trapped and it dies. Okay. So, such plants are called your insectivorous plant. Now, do you know what are the examples of them? So, these plants trap insects. Okay. Because of the attractive color. Now, the examples are your pitcher plant. What is the first one? Pitcher plant. Another one is called sundew. And another one is called your Venus fly trap. What is it? Venus fly trap. So you have three examples for your insectivorous plants or unusual plants, isn't it? They are not like your usual plants. So the examples they are pitcher plant, sundew, and Venus fly trap. Okay. And now we'll just know a few things about the pitcher plant. Okay. So pitcher plant is similar to a Picture that is uh, similar to your jug. You have an opening and when you fill water, okay. So what does this picture plan? So the leaf will be modified in the shape of a picture and the leaf tip is modified as a lid, okay. You have a jug with a lid, okay. So this is, this tip, leaf tip can open or close whenever it needs. So when an insect finds this picture plan, it gets attracted to this and it goes, sits on the Pitcher plant. So when this insect is on the pitcher plant, the lid, that is the leaf tip, closes. So the insect is trapped inside and it dies. So why do these plants trap this insect? Is it for food? So these plants are green and they can prepare their own food by photosynthesis. But they trap this insect to get some mineral and nutrients which will not be available through the soil. We know plants not only required food, they also need minerals and nutrients for their growth. Okay. So when these plants do not get the proper nutrient and mineral from the soil, they absorb the insect. They trap the insect and dissolve it by the chemicals present in these plants. And that is used as the nutrients for them. Is it clear? So these are the two different types of plants what we saw. The first one is non-green plants. Okay. So they have no chlorophyll and the examples are mushroom mold. And the unusual plant is called your insectivorous plant. So these are the plants which can trap insects. 
Examples of them are pitcher plant, sundew and venus flytrap. Okay, here the leaves are modified in different shapes to trap the insect. So with this we came to an end of this topic. So thank you for watching. Take care, be safe and be happy.